Well, here we are on a boat going down the Thames. All of Ava's idea, but I have to say, I quite enjoy looking at London from this angle. <laughs> but the reason why we're here today is for the inauguration of our new president, Professor Barbara Wilson. As patron of the society, I'd like to welcome her aboard. Excuse the pun, I know it had to come, but it's there anyway. So um, it's great her working with us. Everything we do in the society is about raising awareness. I mean, that's why I'm here, um, that's why I've been working with the Kepler Licensed Society for the last 18 months, is about raising awareness. You know, when I came along, I wasn't sure how you even pronounced it, but uh, hopefully people are learning along the way with, with my journey, and uh, people around us are learning at the same time. So, enjoy the evening, and uh, I'll see you later. My first patient with encephalitis in 1979, I was working in Oxford, and at that time there was virtually no support for families and carers. And then in 1994, I met Elaine Dowell, who was the founder of the encephalitis support group, later to become the Encephalitis Society. And now, and then Ava Easton joined a few years later. And now the uh, Encephalitis Society is the first port of call for families, people with encephalitis, and for many professionals as well. Um, it's just an absolutely wonderful society, uh, very innovative, very um, important in the lives of people with encephalitis, and I'm really honoured and flattered to be invited to be their first president. Hi there, I'm Matthew Bose. I'm lucky enough to write the foreword for the guide, the Encephalitis Guide, or Encephalitis Guide, which we're launching today. My friend Mark was attacked by the virus and I knew nothing about it. So I turned to the Encephalitis Society where I got heaps of help. But unfortunately, there wasn't the guide then, and now there is. So you're going to be witnessed to a momentous event. It's the first of its kind in the world and um, hopefully it'll help you and ease some journey as they have for me. Um, the reason that we're all here this evening is threefold. It's firstly to say thank you to all of you, all of whom support us in some way. Secondly, we're delighted to launch this evening our new publication, Encephalitis, a guide. Finally, back in March, um, as many of you will know, we launched our then new DVD. Professor Barbara Wilson, who's here with us this evening, obviously, uh, joined us that night, um, and I knew that she was hoping to retire this evening. Um, Barbara is not only an acclaimed and international neuropsychologist, but also a staunch supporter of our society, and I didn't really want to let her go. And I thought, I'm going to try my luck here, and I'm going to ask her if she'd consider being president of our society. Um, and much to my astonishment and delight, she accepted, and her presidential inauguration is the primary purpose of this evening. She really is the most beautiful, understanding and caring person and I think for that reason we are thrilled to bring her into the Encephalitis Society. Ladies and gentlemen, Barbara Wilson. It really is a great honour and I'm very flattered and honoured to be invited to be the first president of this truly remarkable society. I went on the web, as young people do apparently, and um, looked up Encephalitis and didn't really find that much but of course the one thing that comes up is the Encephalitis Society. And it's, they have been, single-handedly, everything to me and Mark in some way since. I said, have no fear I'll be standing right here When the time, the time is right Hold, hold on tight to the